national team member at age 17, nag-grow. At sa PBA, he was three-time mythical first team, five-time champion, nine-time all-defensive team, 11-time all-star, one of the 40 greatest PBA players of all time. At sa NCAA, naging coach ng Arellano Chiefs with two finals appearances. The one and only Defense Minister of Philippine Basketball, Jerry Codiniera. Mga kapuso, the Defense Minister of Basketball, Jerry Codiniera. Coach, kamusta? Mabuti, mabuti. Hi, Martin. Hi, Sophia. Hi, kamusta? Mabuti. We are honored that you're here, Coach. Thank you. Maraming salamat for joining us, accepting our invitation. Thank you. Guys, this is a legend joining us here on the show. Pero kamusta muna, Coach? Ano yung mga pinagkakaabalahan mo ngayon? Well, of course, this is my first time ulit. Mag-guess sa studio and thank you for having me. And talagang it's really very challenging yung... You know, for the past two, almost mag two two years na yung training my son. Oh. Uh, Siempre during the pandemic. And uh, pero siempre mas siempre mas stronger yung bonding namin with the family and talagang you became more responsible mm -hmm. with each other every time. Grabe monitoring o sa kagaling <laughs> o baka, nag ano mas kama nagano kama spray kama. Okay, kila uh, ang distancing kama. <laughs> Oh, Coach so. Jerry again, thank you for joining us on our show. But I, I saw na kanina magkibigan pala kayo kasi <laughs> hindi daming chika na nangyayari backstage. Hindi daming chika nga. Hindi daming chika. <laughs> uh, hindi, kasi I, I know Coach Jerry, of course, from covering the NCAA games. Um, always a friendly face, one of the friendliest coaches around pag nagko-cover ako. Talaga, siyempre, kailangan namin mag-notes. Malaman ko ano yung happening sa players. Agap pag kinuusap mo si Coach, very friendly and i-accommodate kanya. Tapos nakapag-ano na rin kami. Of course, analyze ng mga different sports issues and games as well. So, Coach yan eh. Si Coach Jerry yan eh. Si Martin yung pinaka kinikilig ngayon. Pansin nyo ba? Kinikilig. Kinikilig. Nag-blush si Martin sa presence mo. Ako, solved na ako. Oo, solved na ako na nandito si Coach. Pero, ito mo naman, ang dami mong na-achieve sa karir mo, Coach. Pinakita natin yan sa sa VTR natin kanina. And on the table, uh, in front of you, meron tayong, di ba, meron tayong baseball, ba baseball bat, syempre, yung ano mo, yung whiteboard mo sa <laughs> sa pag-coach. Pag pag-coach, oh, oh, oh. yun. Diba? Totoo pala yun, literal na ginagamit niyo yeah. yun. Hindi na drawing, drawing. Oh, akala, pwede ka mag-drawing. Akala ko lang, pag may camera, ganyan, tapos nagda-drawing, drawing yun ang coach. <laughs> There are two types. It's either the pen, you use your pen, or the magnetic board. Yeah, we can do that. Let's take a look at that in our story with Jerry. Let's take a look at baseball and bat. There's a significance to that. Baseball is your first sport, right? Yes, Sophia. Well, it's very memorable for me. And we actually all started, my family, we all started with baseball. Because my dad ko, he's a well-known, he's a legend in baseball and softball. So those were the formative years namin. And uh, talagang doon lang niya talaga kami hitin na talagang mag-guide. Because my father, kahit sabi mo, he used to play base, basketball sa UST. It's just yung baseball kasi. Yun yung then, yeah. Oh, after habang nagpa-practice sila on the side, nandun naman kami to train. Ah. Yeah. Okay, pero coach, siyempre... Baseball yan, tapos, Coach, if I'm not mistaken, you're 6'3", 6'4". 6'6". 6'6". I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm way out there. 6'6", si Coach Jerry. Advantage ba yan, disadvantage ba yan nung naglalaro ka ng baseball? Obviously, kasi, ano eh, ano ba, baseball is, ano ba, not at the forefront right now, here at least in the Philippines. So, hindi tayo masyado, at least most of us are not, you know, well known with that sport. Ikaw ba, ano, nagbe-baseball ka, yung height mo, nakasagabal yan, o, advantage para sa'yo? Well, actually, it's a, there are things na, first, yung disadvantage, no? When you're, especially when you're about to, ikaw ang batter, lumalaki yung strike zone mo. So, pagka papalo ka, mas malaki yung strike zone mo, meaning, 
unlike yung mga sakto lang, ah. maliit lang yung ano, mahirapan yung pitcher magbigay ng strike. Correct. So kung ako, talagang hanggang dito, strike yan. Hanggang dito ko sa Nico, strike pa rin yan. Outside corner, strike pa rin yan. Siyempre, yung middle, ta. So, malaki, lugi ka. Malaking disadvantage nga na. Yes. Oh. That's why, you see, a famous coach, uh, Turo Valenzona, mm -hmm. he told me, sabi niya, overhide ka dyan sa baseball, <laughs> why don't you concentrate sa basketball? Ah. Sabi ni coach sa akin. Coach so, Turo. O, oh, coach Turo. Mm -hmm. Nakikita niya kami kasi, alam mo na, we train in Rizal Memorial, baseball stadium, basketball uh, coliseum. Nakikita-kita kami ron. So, after ng baseball, tuloy ako sa basketball. Kasi dual sport ako when I was in high school. Uh -huh. High school baseball, basketball, sabay yun. So, sabi niya, focus na lang ako sa isang sport. Ah, doon nag-start yung shift. Kailan yes. yung nag-start yung, kasi siyempre, sabi mo, dual ka. Kailan yung nagsimula at ano yung moment para sa iyo na, uy, parang basketball na lang ako. Uh, iwan ko na yung muna yung baseball. Well, uh, dual sport ako eh. Actually, hmm. nung nasa first year high school ako, Dual sport na siya, baseball, basketball. But nung on my third year, hmm. in-scrap yung baseball. Sabi ko, ah. na, I, I'll be forced to pay. Okay. So, so sa tuition fee, medyo, siyempre sabi ko, sayang naman. Eh, oh, naman. Sabi ko, yung mga coaches ko naman sa high school baseball, ah, basketball, sorry, sabi niya, huwag ka na lumipat ng team, we will get you. We'll put you in the lineup sa UE Juniors. Hi, baseball, uh, basketball team. So, yun. Alam mo, coach, kung hindi ka i-line-up nun, bakit ka nila? <laughs> bakit? Bakit ka hindi i-line-up? Hindi, kasi noon, lalo noon, that was, um, that was way back pa. Mihira ang, ano? 78, oh. yes. Ang rare yung talagang matatangka yes, oh. ng mga big guys na maganda. Ang dami niyong numbers sinabi ng oh. pulo ako. Oh. <laughs> my, my dad was really preparing me. My, my other brother for Japan semi-pro mm -hmm. baseball. So, ah. yung height na 6'3", 6'4", that time, exacto lang. Exacto. Kasi... Ah, mag-Japan ka dapat? Supposed to be that wow. before. Pine-prepare na nila kami. So, that's why puro pitching ang training ko nun. Coach yun. Jerry, kasi, okay, okay. And speaking of your stint in the national team, ito <laughs> yung memorabilia namin para sa sa'yo. <laughs> Philippine flag, yeah. kasi makailang beses mong uh, nirepresenta yung Pilipinas yes. sa international stage. Kwento mo naman sa amin yun, Coach. How did it start? Ano yung pinakaunang tournament mo? Because, you know, if you're representing a team here in, in the Philippines, or at least if you're part of a team in a league here in the Philippines, it's much different pag nire-representa mo na. Yung may konting pride ka, Philippines. Philippines. Uh -huh. Kwento mo sa amin, Coach. Well, unang-una, uh, you can say na it is one of the biggest break sa life ko as a sports person, as, mm -hmm. as, 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 as an athlete, is to re represent yung Philippines. And I was chosen sa pool ng Northern Cement Consolidated. Mm -hmm. Yun yung mga gilas nung araw. Ah. Kami yun. And uh, at that time, ano na rin, it's very successful. It's, it's a, it's a five-year program. Mm -hmm. I was chosen, so ang laking bagay sa akin because at that time, I was the youngest. You can say na mga 17 lang ako at that time. I was oh, able to... Oh, 17. You were 17 uh, when you entered the national. So, na, 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 ano? Kine-question ko na yung mga life choices ko. Grabe uh, yun. Uh, Kaya gawa ko rin 17. Uh, uh, so, yun. Uh, it was the biggest break for me, but it is one of the most challenging kasi imagine, you're 17, you're going up against a 21-year-old. Nandun na siyempre yung the best of the best. Hector Calma, Alan Kaidik, Samboy yeah. Lim, uh -huh. Ituri. Wow. And with the three naturalized players na 6'8", going against Dignadise. It's, it's a day-to-day -day battle sa practice. So, it's very challenging na, but not to a point naman na, na to a point na magkikwit ako. Because my dad, again, prepared us for a... Uh, kundun sa mga mga ganong workout oh, man, so, program. So, yun, tama lang training din. Pala. Uh -huh. Training pala. And I was so proud na I was a member of that. But lagi ka siyempre, of course, dadaan ka sa pagka-bench warmer, uh -huh. bago ka muna. Mm -hmm. Talagang makikita mo every every game, zero ka. Pag nagamit ka, role player ka lang. You have to earn your minutes. You have to uh, do the to a point na minsan, ano kami, we carry the bags of uh, the players, <laughs> at least pag sabron. Oh, oh, uh, Merong rookie treatment. Oh, yes, oo. Oh, oh. oh, pag rookie ako, sabi ni Coach Pilo, the father of the Pomarens, oh, Jerry, mga bag, bantay mo. 
Oh, yeah, yes, coach. Oh, okay. Talaga ito. Oh, kami dyan. Pag talagang dadaan ka doon. Tapos, uh, role player ka. Sasabihin sa akin, yes. O, oh, puro import yan. Make sure lahat ng fouls mo, gagamitin mo. Mm. Talagang they taught me how to be a good... Uh, you should know your roles mm. and you have to do it to the fullest. Kaya, very humbling sa start mo as a, as a player. So, ang lahat talaga, puro learnings talaga, grabe ang learnings. Pero, nakasa ka nun, coach. Kasi 17, oh, imagine 17. going yeah. up against those players yeah. in their prime. Yes. Yeah, so. Yes. Ano feeling naman na uh, represent mo yung Philippines abroad? Like, pag when you're with the other international teams and everything, tapos 17 ka lang, Ako? ano naman feeling to be in that position? Ako. Just to make it to the lineup, sa totoo lang, in the national team, it's overwhelming, indescribable eh. Overwhelming, masaya ka to wear the national jersey. Tapos, being with, with the best players. Siyempre, it's pr proud ka. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and other than that, especially pag nasa podium ka na, mm -hmm. getting that gold medal. Yeah. Nakasahan mm -hmm. ko. Kompleto na yung ano ko, yung uh, career. Yeah. Sa career ko, uh -huh. aspirations. But you don't stop it. The moment you get that gold, you want to pursue again another competition. When you go back home, you want to keep on excelling. Eh. Mm -hmm. Ayaw mo nung you stop eh. Marami pa rin challenges sa local competition, sa school, and pagdating sa another international competition. So you just have to continue moving forward, improving, yun mm -hmm. ang... Coach, any moment that sticks out dun sa international uh, stint mo that you distinctly remember di mo makalimutan nung nagko-compete ka para sa Pilipinas? Well, syempre, yung uh, when we won the ABC Championships in Malaysia, talagang we we were we played Korea in the finals and talagang it's just a wow. one point, ano lang, it's just a one point, ano lang, lead. It was a last shot ng teammate natin. So, Nung nag-champion, I didn't know actually the impact hmm. ng pagdating sa Philippines. Doon, eh, celebrate lang kami. We miss our Christmas, we miss yung New, uh, new, new Year. Ah. And uh, the most memorable there is yung pas yung New Year. Wala kami ma wala kaming fireworks. fireworks. Alam mo kinatok namin yung katabi mga <laughs> rooms <yung> bago. Ganun <laughs> niyo, binulabog niyo. Ay nakakatawa yung pagkaganoon namin. Nandoon nagii-scout yung isang team ng China, <laughs> <laughs> yung mga coaches na galit pagkaganoon namin. Lumabas yung ano, yung <laughs> Chinese coach, ah, nag scout kayo ah. <laughs> so yun, yung memorable sa amin yun. And when we won the championship, pagbalik, yun yung impact, yun yung na-feel namin. Nang grabe pala yung Pinoy, grabe ang suporta sa amin. Our tribal natin, ang Korea. Oh, yeah. oh, Korea pa. Oh, yun yung... Korea beat China. Eh. Oh, sa, sa, Nakao, sa, sa early Nakao, rounds. Ah, okay. 